On the tee from Northern Ireland, Rory McElroy. Wonderful record around this golf course. In fact, on the opening three holes, he's 28 under par. That's better than anyone else. So he always, or seems always, to start the round well. Four-time winner this year. Wonderful strike from McElroy. Bunker down the left. That's just perfect. McElroy second to the first. Perfect tee shot. Flying up and down. Let me touch left. And that took well with seam. How fast that is from there when it gets past the hole. here for McElroy. Pretty straight putt for him. Oh, this is nice. Beautiful from Rory. Very, very good. Well done. Playing with absolute. Good tee shot. Solid second into the green. So now he's two putts. Nice birdie for Rory McElroy. He does take advantage of the par fives on this golf course, he really does. Three wood off the third for McElroy. Just trying to take that bunk out of play that's in the middle of the fairway. You see it there. Out attack for McElroy here. Beautiful shot. The man with the golden shoes for birdie on the third. Very nice, Rory. Well, we did say that he likes the first three holes, so <laughs> here you go. Oh, McElroy, down the green here. It's, it's a good break, though, from the left here. A swing from here. Downhill from here, downhill from here. Oh! oh. Lipped out at the first and lipped out here. There's going to be some electricity this afternoon. a couple of yards behind this pin so needs accuracy here McElroy looking good Jamie yeah. he was working hard on his wedges on the range Sam do you have a track man out or was he just feeling it just feeling it Kenny old style great chance for McElroy downhill bit of right to left early Magnificent putt. You just know if Rory McIlroy's got his putting boots on, there, they're only ever going to see him in the rear view mirror. 167 this sixth today. All over the water. Pin tight left. It's a little eight or a big nine. We shall see with his swing here. Oh, look the smooth one. Oh, look the smooth one. He's glad he pushed it there, Jamie. That would have been in the water straight at the flag. Yeah, it's a 9-9 to get close, Sam. But if he doesn't quite get it, he's in the water. It's just no point. Is there first round? So McElroy's shot in here. Long putt across the green at the par three. Great camera angle here. We'll know whether it's going to go close or not. Will it swing that much? It will. It will. 
It will. Oh, Rory McIlroy. What a start. Four under. Shot ten under on Tuesday in the Pro-Am. He's on his way again. He loves this course. McIlroy from a good lie in the first cut, but it's on a slight down slope, so he's trying to cut up his five wood rescue club here from 247. Long way uphill, though. Nine up. Front pin. Difficult shot. Middle of the green would be great. It really is swinging well. That was a lovely strike. Another majestic shot. He's another one, as Thomas said, watching John Ram when you walk along the range, you've got to watch this kid too, my goodness me. Well, this to go six under for McRoy. It's downhill, it's left to right, it'll come back the other way of the hole. He's reading the greens beautifully. He's not looking at books or anything like that, he's just trusting his eye, great to see for McRoy. He's not really hit it close yet, Jay. Uh, Jamie. No, he's been putting great, sir. Lovely speed to that putt there from an eagle putt, remember? That's a birdie. So McElroy's going five under. It's such a difficult pin to get close to, just tucked over the front bunker, which is a deep one. He was trying to feather a big cut into that flag, did it darn well. So just what it read on the script, middle of the green, two putts, not a birdie. Tight old flag to the ninth and hold on to your hats. Oh, oh, oh. Damn, it's just, I mean, look at that. It's almost dead straight. It's come out like an arrow out of a crossbow. Beautiful, perfect spot, miles up there. Driving a wedge. Mate, uphill, 350. This is just a smooth 9-9. Might even pummel a wedge here. Longest bar four on the golf course, uphill. Incredible stuff. Another beautiful swing. This is right at it. Mm, gorgeous. About to go out in 30. Third lip out is at today. Well, the other two were probably pretty lucky that they hit the hole. So that was a beautiful part that didn't go in for Rory. He stays five under, just coasting along. It's not even out of second gear yet, really. Sitting right on top of the grass here. And that's the problem here. He's going with the sand wedge, not the lob, and just a three quarter swing. Just carried a few yards too far. He comes back onto the green now. And that's an uphill putt. That's a good chance for McElroy. It's more his distance today. Now, Rory, we saw a second just creep back onto the green at the back of the green here. Good chance up the hill. Can be quite aggressive for this one. This to get to six under within three of Lorenzo. No, he's missed it right. Lorenzo Vera, nine under par in the clubhouse. Five birdies and ten holes for Rory McIlroy. McIlroy, 164, just a smooth 9-9 nine -nine to this back right pin. He can't see the flag. He's blocked out, as Ken Brown alluded to, off the tee. He's got to trust his line here. Sounded good, he's eyeing it up. He must have started on the line he intended. He did pretty darn well. I love the quiet little giggle to himself John Ram when he asked him what really suits you about this course it's a ball strikers course <laughs> after that magnificent tee shot of McElroy just a little 60 70 yard chip forward he'd love to get the birdie a drop shot back right here right now nearly made eagle well, that looks like a gimme McElroy should go back to five This is 
all just full out attack for him here. Right in the centre of the green, the flag. Nothing to worry about. Known all about trade and tourism and aviation and financial services. Just a remarkable place as Michael Roy holds his birdie putt and moves into second on his own. He's hit it hard too. How's the line? There's plenty of height. Oh, for goodness sake, stop it. Stop it, reminiscent of the fantastic shot from Henrik Stenson years ago. Hit it to six inches, but that was just pure class. Miss Granger's. Magnificent, absolutely magnificent. Sorry, Diggy. No, it's just what we're all just wrapped in admiration. What a performance by Rory McIlroy. Rory, you've played some fabulous rounds of golf on this golf course, but 64 represents your lowest possible score that you've shot here. Tell us about it from your point of view. Yeah, it was great. Um, you know, you know I, I started off fast, uh, four under through six, five under through seven. Um, you know, basically did what I told you I, I should do, starting off, you know, hit it into the right portions of the greens. Uh, I, I held a couple of held a couple of really good putts you know starting off but i birdied the two par fives on the front nine uh and, and did what i needed to do and then it got a little a little uh slower on the the sort of start of the back nine but it was obviously nice to to finish the way i did i had some really quality shots coming in which um you know which is you know gives me a lot of confidence going into the next few days you told me earlier this year that one of the things you're most proud of is when you have those quiet spells that are around, you're more patient than you used to be. Was that the case today? Yeah, definitely. I think my patience was rewarded. You know, yeah. I bogey 12, make a great up and down on uh, on 13 for par, and then, you know, nearly made a mess of 14 and made par there. And I think, you know, maybe in the past, going to the 15th tee, I would have been trying to push it a little bit. I just sort of stayed patient. I, you know, hit a good drive up 15, took advantage of that. Um, you know, hit two two solid shots into 16, and yeah, just a little more of a, you know, you're still four under par. There's a lot of golf left in this golf tournament, and just not trying to push it too much. And it's funny, it's sort of counterintuitive. The less you try to push it, it seems like the lower lower the scores are. Describe the second shot to the last first. Look right out of the top draw that one. Yeah, um, honestly, it's possibly the best shot I've had all year. Um, two, I think I 270. Um, Equivalent 272 uh, to the front, 291 to the pin, so we're back in off the left and you know I was, the you know, wind was off the left so it was a nice one for me to just aim straight at the pin and know that if I hit my little draw it should hold, but if it gets going on the wind, obviously the bunker on the right is better than the water on the left, so I, and I, I just flushed it, like I, when I was over it, it was sort of in off the left and you know I sort of carry my three wood off the deck about 280, so it was right on the limit. Um, but as soon as I hit it, I, I knew it was I knew it was perfect. It was right right out of the middle. So uh, great to finish like that. And um, yeah, you know, it's, it was a great round of golf. When you returned from the HSBC, your wife Erica had had something very special built in your house. Just tell us about that. Um, yeah. So I guess we've been uh, we just moved into our new house a, a couple of months ago. But I still hadn't you know, we still hadn't moved anything everything in and the the trophy cabinet hadn't been built. Um, and then got back from China. Uh, walked into the our sort of game room and you know up on the wall were you know all the trophies and stuff and obviously on a high from the, the win in China it was cool but just a you know it's sort of it's a nice reminder sometimes um, I hadn't seen that you know those all that stuff had been in storage for you know a year and a half so first time I'd seen the Claret Jug and the you know the US Open Trophy and all that sort of stuff and it you know it's a it's cool but it's also a great motivator to, to think you know you know, I'm still pretty early in my career and I've, I've done quite a lot, but I still want to do so much more. Well played today. Congratulations. Thank you. To watch another European Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.